when you see Jeremiah go out to, to Luis, is that a signal for you to get up or kind of what was going through your mind when the mound visit started and can you kind of take us through your preparation to get ready to pitch? Yeah, um, I, I was, you know, caught off guard by it. Obviously, I didn't know what was going on. I know he was healthy coming into the game. So um, I was caught off guard by it. I think everybody was. So, you know, my typical routine is out the window at that point. Um, I hadn't even stretched, thrown, anything. So it was going to take me a good while to, to warm up. And I think all things, you know, I'm sure it felt like forever for you all. But for me, that was about the fastest I can warm up. Um, usually it takes me 30 plus minutes. And I think I did it in under. 15 so um, not ideal and it's not like it's a it's a fun warm-up you're sitting there pretty much naked in front of the other team they get to watch every single pitch you're throwing they get to see every shape everything so it's not an ideal way to warm up especially when I know I'm going to be asked to throw um, 80 to 100 pitches so you know I made the most of my time and tried to go as fast as possible and uh, you know felt the game out as it, as it went obviously it's a it's probably the worst situation you can come in as a, as a starting pitcher. Um, you know, you, you usually you can be prepared for extras, but that situation, so it's definitely a tough one. I'll go to Mark here. Uh, Jake, having said all that, how would you assess your time out there today? Um, you know, I sucked up four innings. You know, that's, that's the best way of putting it. That, those can be crucial as we move, uh, move forward in the series. Um, you know, I, I wish there, the, that first inning when I came in, I was – I don't know, like throwing about 70 pitches between warm-ups and, a, and the inning there. I don't know if I've ever been asked to do that or capable of really doing it. So, um, you know, I was getting tired towards the end of that inning. So I, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, uh, Devers kept that ball fair. I thought it was a well-located cutter in, and he, he did a nice job on it. So take that away. The rest of the outing went pretty well. They worked at bats, you know, did exactly what you would expect them to do. But... Uh, you know, overall, four innings saved for the bullpen, I think, can mean uh, a lot down the road. Yeah, right up front. Forgive me as I look ahead, but this thing quickly moves uh, ahead in this series. If I could, could ask both of you, uh, how do you feel about the series being tied 1-1-1, one, 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 where you are, d dusty, adamant that no matter what you guys face, you simply don't quit, you kind of forget it and move on? Yeah, I thought uh, we did a nice job of staying in the game today. We were still able to... Um, put some good at bats against Nate, um, and then towards the end of the game, you know, Yuli had a big swing, uh, Castro had a big swing, so still able to put up runs, see the bullpen, make guys throw pitches, and I think that's important in a game like that where you know we've been trailing the whole game. So um, you know, have their guys throw as much as possible. We put good at bats together, and I, I think we're you know, obviously today's not a great day for for us, but we still did well overall, and I think moving forward we're in, a, we're in a, you know, the same spot. So um, got a lot of confidence in this team. We'll go to the third row. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, what do you think about that? You said that 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 Sabemos que tenemos problemas con, con los lanzadores, la lesión de los abridores, pero bueno, trataremos de hacer nuestro mejor esfuerzo para poder hacer las carreras. Yeah, we got to go to Boston and just uh, put our best foot forward and try to do everything we can to win games out there. Uh, we know that we're going through a little bit of a tough stretch right now with the injuries that we've suffered uh, to the pitching staff, but we got to do our job. You know, we got to go out there and try to put up as many runs as we can. We'll take a couple more in the third row here. If I could have uh, two questions in Spanish for Yuli. Eh, Yuli, tomando eso en cuenta, ¿qué ajustes se pueden hacer de aquí al juego 3? Adjustments yeah, can be made. Mm, no, creo que, que, que hasta ahora, bueno, el equipo ha, ha hecho las carreras, ¿no? Que es lo principal. Creo que una de las partes que, que tendríamos que seguir como lo estamos haciendo es batear con corredores en posición anotadora, que es la clave principal. Yeah, I think uh, we've been we've been taking care of business, uh, still scoring runs, which is the the main thing, is the, to still continue to produce. Um, and I think the key for us has really been the uh, damage that we've done uh, hitting with runners in scoring positions that we've we've done a pretty good job of that so far this year. Y ahora qué tan importante va a ser ganar mínimo uno allá porque Alex Cora estaba mencionando tienen tres en casa y sienten que ya la ventaja está de su lado. Bueno, eh, eh, pueden pasar muchas cosas, no no solo porque ellos están en casa, creo que que tienen toda la la ventaja. Solo salir a jugar partido a partido como si fuera el último, así que eso va a ser la clave. 
Yeah, a lot of things can still happen, you know. Um, they don't automatically just have the advantage just because they're at home. Um, it's just a matter of taking things one game at a time and, and seeing what happens from there. Good, Danielle, in the second row. Jake, it seems like you're trying to be pretty pragmatic about this whole situation coming in kind of between a, a rock and a hard place. But how, how would you describe just the, the emotions that you had and kind of being thrown into that situation and, and having to do what you did? Um, you know, just pretty much go until I can't go anymore. Um, I knew after Framber's uh, shortened start yesterday and then Luis coming out early, it was pretty much on me to give as much length as possible, um, try to save our guys as much as possible. Um, it, it, the thought really, there's really no thought. You know, you just get kind of thrust into that role and uh, go as long as you can go until like there's there's nothing left. I'm sure I'm gonna feel it tomorrow, but you know, like I said, four innings of not having to use our our big guys, I think is important and uh, you know hopefully uh, I can bounce back pretty quick from this and be available you know a couple day, uh, a couple games down the road but uh, yeah it was uh, something I didn't really uh, expect but it's the playoffs and I just tried to make uh, the best out of the situation and you know wish I could have you know either done a little bit better or even given a little more length so um, you know I'm I would say I'm disappointed in it I think uh, even under the circumstances I, I could have done some stuff better We'll finish up on the left with Alex. Hey, Jake, Dusty said that he had been trying to save you for a game four start, and that probably is going to be hard hard for you to do. What what position does it leave a team in in the postseason in a series like this where you kind of have to adjust your rotation on the fly? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough situation. Um, you know, we can, we can piece it together the best way we can. I think that's the best way to look at it is focus on each game. Try to make the most out of each game, win that game, move on to the next game. We'll figure out, you know, it's it's kind of like let's just push the problem as far as we can. Let's focus on today and then worry about the next day. Um, you know, if we start looking down the road of trying to set things up, there's a lot of time that passes in between. So, um, you know, I don't think I'll probably be able to start that game now. Um, I don't think that's much of a secret, but um, hopefully I'll be able to contribute soon around that time and uh, you know do everything I can to bounce back quickly but we're just going to be focused on game three getting off to a good start there and uh, you know we'll see what where we're at after that so we just have to take it one game at a time from a pitching staff and, and piece it together. Yuli, Jake, Andrew thanks very much.